Bonjour à tous! Welcome back to Petite Spatule. If it's your first time here, bienvenue to you as well. I am Jocelyn and I'm a huge pastry lover who happens to live here in the City of Lights. So I plan to take you with me on my journey as I taste the pastries of Paris. This pastry review is with something from Philippe Conticini. He has been in the pastry industry for decades and he is very well respected in the pastry industry. He has four boutiques here in Paris, one in the 3rd, one in the 7th, and another one in the 16th. And he has a newly opened um, pastry counter inside the Galerie Lafayette. He also branched out internationally. He has a pastry shop in London and another one in Tokyo. He was also the co-founder and pastry chef in the now closed um, La Patisserie de Rêve. And this patisserie is actually well known for the classic um, Saint Honoré and Paris Brest. Um, I actually never got to try them. However, luckily, Philip Conticini opened up his own boutique in 2018, so we can still try his creations. I really wanted to try Philippe Conticini's Paris Brest. However, when I got to the pastry counter um, in Galerie Lafayette, there were no Paris Brest. So in the end, I decided to try his Tarte Saint Honoré. The components of this dessert are the basics of pastry. So it means each element should be done perfectly for it to be a great tart. From the outside, you will see a nice golden tart shell topped with a nicely piped Chantilly mascarpone cream. And on top of that is a mini shoe that is covered with a nice golden caramel. Inside the tart, you will find a layer of salted caramel and vanilla pastry cream. This San Honore tart is a must try for sure. The tart shell in this tart maintained its crispiness despite it being in the fridge for a day. The caramel was well balanced and has a nice smooth texture. The creme pâtissier or the pastry cream was smooth and creamy. It had just enough thickness to hold its form and its flavor was perfect as well. The Chantilly on top had a subtle vanilla flavor to complement everything and the texture was very light and it pleasantly cuts through all the other rich elements in my palette. The shoe on top is small and since I had it in the fridge for a day, I couldn't really give a fair review on its texture, but flavor-wise it was impeccable. Surprisingly, the caramel on top held its crunchy texture and it's cooked almost to its limit, giving a nice subtle bitter note which I liked very much. The tart shell had a nice buttery flavor and cooked till it's nice and golden, giving a sort of bernoisette brown butter flavor. I really enjoy eating this tart. I would have it again for sure. Although the next time I am at Philippe Conticini's, either his boutique or um, inside Galerie Lafayette Gourmet, I am hoping that I would be able to try his Paris Bress. That's it for this pastry review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next week for another pastry review. A la prochaine. Till the next one.